Okay, so this is the red and blue electron trial demonstration. It's a demonstration which you can use to um, visualize for your students a redox reaction. In this demonstration, you'll see the buildup of a red and blue um, substance um, near two nails stuck in a special gelatin solution. Um, so it's an example of a electrolysis. It's a very colorful example, obviously. The gelatin in question uh, is just ordinary gelatin, but to that we've added um, a solution of uh, a dilute solution of potassium ferricyanide uh, and a little bit of phenylphthalein, about 10 drops. Um, and so I suggest you make it probably the day before, obviously, just a little bit of warm water, the gelatin, it'll set. Um, I think in the handout we've said how to make about three or four of these. Um, in our experience, they actually can last. Um, up for about three, four days. So you can make a few in advance. You then put two nails into the gelatin and attach it to a power supply at six volts and turn that on. And at the start, um, first few seconds, it doesn't look like much is happening. But as we know, um, very quickly, you'll start to see a bit of, um, a bit of pink pinkness on uh, sort of around um, one of the nails and a blue substance around the other. Um, and the longer you leave this, the, the more that will build up. And if you look really carefully, and get stu you, students can get quite close to this one, um, you'll see some bubbles starting to form, actually, in, seem to be bubbles embedded inside that pink, um, so, uh, those, that pink trail. Now, in terms of what's happening, in terms of the chemistry, um, so at the cathode, you have reduction. Uh, water is being reduced to form um, hydrogen gas and hydroxide ions and that will react with the phenylphthalein and will cause the, surrounding, the, the area surrounding the nail to turn pink. The idea is that at one of the electrodes, oxidation is going to take place where the iron nail is going to turn into iron 2 plus. Uh, when the iron 2 plus is formed, it'll form a metal complex with the ferrocyanide present and form a blue complex. It's basically an iron complex, an iron ion complex and a better, it's however better known perhaps in society as Turnbull's blue or Prussian blue, um, sort of one of the first artificial blue sort of colours um, we were able to make. Um, a very impressive bright blue colour. So in terms of questions you could ask your students, you could uh, talk about, just explain to them that yeah, the pink indicates that hydroxide has been produced and maybe then ask them through looking at an electrochemical series, uh, what might be reacting to produce hydroxide ions and then you can draw out from them that it's water being reduced and then uh, maybe then draw out if it's a reduction, is it the anode or the cathode? And similarly, um, you point out that the blue indicates that iron 2 plus has been formed. So maybe then talk about what's been oxidized to form that. Um, and yeah, again, does it occur at the anode or the cathode? At the cathode, it's easy to link this to uh, corrosion prevention. So using impressed current techniques where electrons are supplied to an, uh, a nail or to any metal to stop the uh, corrosion of that metal. And so in this case, you're supplying electrons through a power supply. You're re uh, allowing reduction to occur at the nail and preventing it from being oxidized by supplying electrons. As you remove the nails, the colors that were formed stay present and you can observe where the electrons have moved or or where things have been reduced and oxidised. You can see the blue and the pink sort of trail um, going down, which is a very impressive look. So yeah, great demonstration to show visually an oxidation reduction reaction for your students.